welcome to Daily Charge. For today, 29th of November, 2023, let us pray. Our Father, we thank you for another beautiful day that you have made. The 29th day of the month of November, 2023, thank you for everything that you have done unto us from the beginning of this year till today. Can never thank you enough for all of what which you, the Lord, have done. May all the praise be ascribed unto you, O Lord. As we are going into your word this morning, you will go with us. Teach us a new thing. Holy Spirit, direct us. Let us not fail you nor falter. Even everything that we are going to do this day, and let all praise, Lord Father, be ascribed back unto your holy name. Do that which you God alone can do today, which no man can do, to the glory of your name and to the shame of the devil. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Our topic for today is using the name of Jesus. Using the name of Jesus. Using the name of Jesus. Before we go into breaking this down, we'll look at our memory verse, which we are taking from the book of Mark chapter number 16 and verse number 17 to 18. And I read, And this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. A motivational quote for this morning is, the name of Jesus is one of the believer's most potent weapon. Motivational quote for this day. The name of Jesus is one of the believer's most potent weapons. And our prophetic word for today is, henceforth, the name of Jesus will work wonders in your life. In the name that is above all names, Jesus. Our first scripture is taken from Philippians chapter number 2 and from verse number 9 to 11. We are going to read it because it's a very short verse. Wherefore God also had highly exalted himself and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. To the glory of God the Father. In Romans chapter number 10 and verse number 13, the Bible says that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The name of Jesus is so powerful. The name of Jesus is so powerful. I will sing this song which shows that the name of Jesus is truly powerful. The name, the name of Jesus is greater and higher than all names. It is not an ordinary name. It is the name that is full of power and praise. It is a name that is above every other name. It is not a name that you call in vain. It is not a name that you call because you just want to call it. It is a name that when you call, every knee must bow. It is a name that brings about wonders. It is a name that brings about miracles. It is a name that is above every other name. The name of Jesus is so powerful that it is su its supremacy will continue to, even after now, the supremacy of that name will genetically continue. It is not only in this world. If there are worlds to come, that name of Jesus will continue to wrath the power that is in that name. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is everything that a man needs to survive in this sinful world in that name, Jesus. It is not a name that you call because you want to call it. It is not a name that you call in vain. It is a name when you call it truly when you are the child of God. Genuinely born again, you cannot call that name in vain. When you call it, things must happen. When you call him, things must happen no matter how. The only reason whereby you will call that name and it will not work wonders for you is when you have not given your life to him. And the reason why I'm saying that is that if I'm not your father, you cannot call me when there is a problem and I will answer. 
The Bible says, my sheep know my voice and I know their voice. There is no how my son or my daughter will be in trouble and he will call me by my name daddy or whatsoever my child calls me that I will not answer. But when another person calls me and it is not the voice of my child, even when I hear, I will not respond. But when there is trouble and my own child, biological child calls, definitely I will recognize the voice and I will answer. So also is the case here with Jesus. The first thing you need to do for you to be able to call that name and that name will work for you is for you to surrender to that name. Genuinely surrender to that name. Giving your life to Jesus. That is the only way whereby you will call that name and that name will answer for you. He doesn't know your voice when you have not given your life to him. He will not recognize your voice when you have not given your life to him. He says, my sheep hears my voice. My sheep hears my voice and I recognize their voice. When you are not a sheep, when you are a goat, you, can, you cannot recognize your voice. No, you cannot. Shepherd recognize the voice of their sheep. Sheep recognizes the voice of their shepherd. The question I will ask before we break this down further is have you given your life to Jesus? If you have not, you cannot use that name. If you use it, it cannot work. Until the day you give your life to him. Until the day you recognize him as your Lord and Savior. Until the day you are able to beat your, child's, your chest anywhere and say he is my father. If you are not able to beat your chest that is your father, unfortunately, you cannot hear your voice. You cannot use that name. If you use it, it will not work. It will not. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. David said in Psalm 118 and verse 11, They compassed me about. Yea, they compassed me about. But in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. When you know that name, when you call it, Whoever compass you all about, they must be destroyed because that name is a destroyer to any evil that comes near the children of the, uh, uh, the children of the one that bears that name, Jesus. The Bible says, at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow on earth, above the earth, beneath the earth, every knee. In heaven on earth must bow. It is a name that is powerful. It is a name that wrought wonders. It is a name that wrought miracles. It can only do that when you know him. When you don't know him and you call him, he will not answer. When you don't know him and you call him, your voice is not recognized. Your voice is not recognized. He only recognizes your voice when you have given your life to him and there is a testament to it. When there is no testament to you giving your life to him and it is verified, there is no way you will call him and he will answer. He will not because he doesn't recognize your voice. I pray that any time you call him, he answers you and you will not call him in vain. But the only way you will not call him in vain is giving your life to him. If you have not given your life to him, when you call, you call in vain. When you have not given your life to him, when you call him, it will not work. When you call that name to work for you, it will not work any wonders. Using the name of Jesus. Who is entitled to use it? Are you part of the people that are entitled to use the name of Jesus? Are you a son or a daughter? Are you a child of Jesus that you will use that name and it will work for you? Who is entitled to use that name? Are you entitled? We will be going on a short break and I will come back very soon. God bless you. Two bottles.
hours of oil. 24 hours of fasting. It's going to be a double invasion of the power of God. Two in one. It's the great deliverance and anointing service of the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. And the December edition of Power Must Change Hands 2023. Dr. D.K. Olukoya, the General Overseer, Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, will be ministering live from the International Headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria. Don't miss this yoke-breaking, life-changing, destiny catapulting program, for the power of God will take cognizance of every individual. December PMCH and the Great Deliverance and Anointing Service 2023. Come receive a puzzle that will make a difference before the end of the year. December 2nd, 2023. 0700 WAT. Jesus is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. God bless you and welcome back. Like I said before we went on a short break, who is entitled to use that name? Are you part of the persons that are entitled to use that name, the name of Jesus? Do you and are you convinced within you that when you call that name, it will work for you? Do you believe in that name at all for you to be able to call it and it will answer for you? If your answer is no, when you are not convinced inside you that when you call that name, it will work for you, then that means something is missing, something is wrong, and that things need to be attended to. Until that particular thing is attended to, you cannot use that name. When you use it, it will not work. Who is entitled? You must be born again for you to be entitled to using that word, name, Jesus. Being born again is that you have a conviction, you have a testimony that you have given your life. You have a date that you can pinpoint that on so, so, so date, on so, so, so day, at so, so, so time, I had an encounter with Jesus. And from that day, I became his child. And there is no way that you become a child of somebody and you will be in trouble. You will call that person and they will not answer. You must have an entitlement to that name for you to be able to call it and it will work. Do you have that entitlement to that name? How do you have that entitlement? By giving your life, having a date, a time that you can say at this time, I had an experience of him and I gave my life to him. Then you are entitled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. David did not need to fight with any other weapon other than the name of Jesus Christ, which is above every other name whereby we must be saved. Beloved, God has equipped the believers with the name of his son. God has equipped us with the name of his son. God has equipped us. Are you equipped with that name? Are you equipped with that name? What is the first thing that comes to your mouth when you are in trouble? Is it the name of Jesus or any other name of any other idol? What is the name that comes to your mouth? What is the first what is the first what is the first thing that prompts into your mouth when you are in a difficult situation? Or when you wake up in the morning, what is the first thing that comes to your mouth? Have you ever woken up in the morning and, and said thank you Jesus? Have you ever woken up in the morning and called the name of Jesus? It is an entitlement when you become a child of God. That name, you are entitled to it. It becomes an entitlement. It becomes an entitlement. The devil can fight, but once you mention the name of Jesus, he is already defeated. That means that the devil has an entitlement to fight you. No problem about it. If you know who you believe. Like the song, uh, songwriter says, I know who I believe. I'm serving the living God. I'm serving Jesus. Do you know who you believe? When the devil strike, 
do you know the next name that you need to call? Bible did not say that they will not fight you. He said they will fight, but they will not prevail. Why would they not prevail? They can only not prevail when you know him and you know his name. When you have an entitlement to that name, when they fight, they cannot prevail. But when you don't have an entitlement to that name, when they fight, they may prevail. Hallelujah. Are you, do you have an entitlement to that name? Ask that question again. Do you have an entitlement to that name? If you don't have it, this morning I want to employ you. You need to get an entitlement to that name. And there is only one way to that. Surrender to him. Surrender to him. Calling the name of Jesus brings him into your battle and allows him to give you absolute victory. The name of Jesus gives absolute victory. It doesn't give partial victory. It doesn't give victory that is not, you know, that is not complete. It gives total victory, absolute victory. So calling that name gives you absolute victory. Absolute victory. That's what the name of Jesus gives to you. There is no weapon that is more potent than the name of Jesus to fight your battle. There is no weapon. You can't have a better potent weapon to fight in any battle that you find yourself than the potency of the name of Jesus. That name that is above every other name. The name of Jesus is your authority. The name of Jesus is your authority. And you can't have authority. When you have authority, when you have responsibilities, you have authority. Most of us, we have responsibilities, but the authority to carry out that responsibility is not there. That's why we have pastors that they come out to the pulpit, they pray, they pray, and nothing happens. Because they have responsibility, they don't have the authority. The authority in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is your authority. It means that you must have, you must have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You must believe that he came and died for you. Experience, personal experience, an encounter that you can pinpoint. That encounter gives you entitlement. Encounter brings about entitlement to the name of Jesus. No encounter, no entitlement to that name of Jesus. No encounter, no entitlement. No entitlement, the name cannot work. Hallelujah. I pray for you. That, that that encounter that will give you that power, that will give you that grace of sonship, daughtership to the name of Jesus, and that name will begin to work for you. Receive that entitlement even today and that encounter in the name of Jesus Christ. Your amen can be better than that. He came, he died for you so that that name can be potent in your mouth. What does it take you? You have, you have disobeyed, you have not encountered him, you have not given your life to him, your life remains the same. Why not try the other way and see whether your life will still continue to remain the same? No one has an encounter with him and remains the same. Because the potency of the name of Jesus will begin to work immediately you have that encounter. Things begin to bow because you have an authority to that name. Things begin to bow because you have the, 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 the right to sonship, to fatherly, father and son relationship, daughter and uh, 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 father relationship. When you call, it can answer. But when you don't have that entitlement to that name, when you call, it will not answer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are people who were not Christians and called on the name of Jesus and he delivered them. But right after that encounter, they became believers. Why? Because they tested the name and the name worked. And immediately you test that name. That means there is a commission that the Lord wants to give to you. That means you have a part to play in the kingdom. For you to have called that name and that name answer. I'll give you an example. Somebody is on the road. You met that person. is in trouble. Person called for help. You gave help. Immediately you give that help to that person. Whatsoever thing that you require from that person, definitely you will get it. It may not be help. Probably that person will be ready to give everything back to you. That's why Jesus in most cases, when you call his name, he answers you when you are in trouble. 
because there is a purpose for him answering you at that point so that you can fulfill the purpose in the kingdom where why he has called you hallelujah in second timothy chapter number two and verse number 19 the bible says let everyone that name the name of christ depart from iniquity the name of jesus is powerful when you live the life of christ there clear of iniquity and you will enjoy the power of the wonders wonder working name in the name of jesus when you call that name it is a name that steer clear of iniquity and you will begin when you stay clear of iniquity you will begin to enjoy the power in that name there is no one that is in iniquity that will call that name he says his eyes cannot behold iniquity if his eyes cannot be behold it when you are in you are in one iniquity or the other there is no way that that name can work for you because when you call him he will not see you because his eyes cannot behold it his eyes cannot behold you when you are in iniquity who is entitled to the name? Are you entitled to it? Are you entitled to that name? Are you still living in sin? We'll go on a short break and we'll come back very shortly. God bless you. Two bottles of oil. 24 hours of fasting. It's going to be a double invasion of the power of God. Two in one. It's the great deliverance and anointing service of the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries and the December edition of Power Must Change Hands 2023. Dr. D.K. Olu the General Overseer, Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, will be ministering live from the International Headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria. Don't miss this yoke breaking, life changing, destiny catapulting program for the power of God will take cognizance of every individual. December PMCH and the Great Deliverance and Anointing Service 2023. Come receive a parcel that will make a difference before the end of the year. December 2nd, 2023. 0700 WAT. Jesus is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. God bless you and welcome back. We are looking at using the name of Jesus. Using the name of Jesus. We have looked at who is entitled to the name, the potency of the name. How do you get to be entitled to using that name? How do you get to, you know, to be entitled to using that name? What does the name do? We have looked at all of this. It wrought wonders. Your entitlement comes to that name the day you give your life to Jesus. Your entitlement to that name is when you give your life to Jesus. Genuinely giving your life to Jesus. You have an entitlement to it. His face does not be, you know, cannot be old iniquity. When you live in sin, that name cannot work for you. Those are the things that we have looked at. Those are the things that we have looked at. The Bible also says that the name of Jesus is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and they are saved. I just said that anyone with iniquity cannot use that name and it will work. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and they are saved. Who are the righteous? The man that does not live in iniquity. The man that has given his life to Jesus. The man that lives his life for Jesus is a righteous. That's the man that is righteous. If you do not repent and be holy, it will only be an ordinary name in your mouth. You will call it just like you are call, calling any ordinary name. Like you are calling my name, you are calling any other name that you know. That's how the name will be in your mouth. When you are in a situation, when you call it, it will not happen. I have seen people call Jesus, you know, during their sleep and they have been pressed down. They try to call Jesus. Jesus they cannot call because they don't have an encounter with him. They struggle to call that name Jesus and they still, they still have been pressed down. But when you know and you encounter him, number one, no one can come around you to press you. And if they dare come around, at the mention of that name, they are swallowed. At the mention of that name, they are swallowed. It is not an ordinary name. It is the name that is above every other name. And that's why the Bible says at the mention of that name, every knee, 
every, not one knee, not half knee, not quarter knee, every knee must bow. In heaven, on earth, beneath the earth, every knee must bow at the mention of the name of Jesus. Is that name working for you? If it's not working for you, you need to check yourself. Do not hold back. Do not hold back. When you have, you have had an encounter with him and you know him, you have recognized him. Use it. It's a weapon in your hands. There is no power that will be able to subdue you when you have that name. It's a mighty name that works on wonders. Only if you know how to use it and you can use it rightly. It's a name that works on wonders. Be at peace with God and see his awesome power whenever you call upon him. Be at peace with him. Settle it with him. Settle it with him. Settle it with him. If you are here this morning and you are, you know, we are studying together today and you find out that you have not had an encounter with him, probably that's the reason, one of the reasons why you are still being tormented. One of the reasons why you are still calling on him and there is no answer yet. You have an opportunity to surrender to him today. Just tell him, Jesus, I'm yours today. Surrender unto you. I confess all my sins. From today I sin to you no more. I want to have an entitlement to that name today. Oh Lord, give me the opportunity of an entitlement to your name. From today I go into sin no more. From today I become your child. I become your son. I become your daughter. Whatsoever thing that is applicable to you here, mention it. And from today, let me begin to have an entitlement to this name. And let that name begin to work wonders in my life. If you have prayed that prayer today, I pray for you that from today, your name will be written in the book of life and you will begin to be recognized as one of the sons and daughters of the Lord. When you call him, he will begin to answer for you from today in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that every word that you have heard today about the name of Jesus, let that word sink into your subconsciousness and from today, begin to have an entitlement to his name because you are giving your life to him. From today, when you call that name, it will begin to work for you. From today, when you call that name, it will appear. From today, it will be the fourth man that will appear in the fire in every situation that you find yourself in the name of Jesus. As you go today, the grace of the Lord and his name will begin to work wonders in your life. To God be the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you head and never detail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.